hello everyone, in this video I will cover everything about Mana and its different concepts. Metamask, how to buy and sell, and the different networks, Ethereum network and the Polygon network. It doesn't matter if you don't know anything about crypto, because I will explain everything super easy. Oh, and a disclaimer, everything is your own responsibility, and nothing from this video should be taken as financial advice. Watch the full video, especially the last part of frequently asked questions. When you finish it, before doing anything, check the description if there is any update. But please, don't skip the video. Mana is the crypto of the central land. You can use it to buy land, names or wearables. It's available on two networks, the Ethereum network, also known as ERC20, and the Polygon network. Maybe this is a bit confusing, but it's the same crypto with the same value, but on two different systems. Let's go with the first section, Mana on Ethereum. Check this MetaMask wallet. If you don't know what's MetaMask, please watch the first video of the guide of the central land. As you see, works with the Ethereum network. I have two coins, ETH and MANA. If I want to send MANA to a friend, I need to get his public address and send the MANA. And because we are on the Ethereum network, we will be paying fees. Those fees are called gas. Exactly. Every time you move crypto or NFTs on the Ethereum network, you will be paying gas. You will be paying fees. Those fees, you pay them with ETH. The Ethereum network, at the moment I'm recording this video, has big fees. Most of the time, it's ridiculous. Maybe you want to transfer $1 and you pay $80 on gas. Talking about the central land, when you want to buy land or names or some wearables, you will need to pay using MANA on the Ethereum network and use ETH to pay the fees. Now, MANA on Polygon. Yes. The same coin, but now on a different network. Polygon is another network where you can have mana. And of course, the balance of that mana could be different from the one that you have on the Ethereum network. Instead of spending ETH to pay gas fees, you will be spending Matic, the cryptocurrency of Polygon. Polygon, unlike Ethereum, is very cheap. Transactions usually cost less than a dollar. It's almost nothing. You can use the mana you have on Polygon to buy wearables. And can I use the mana I have on Ethereum network to buy wearables? For most wearables, no. If they are asking you to pay mana on the Polygon network, you will need to pay with mana on the Polygon network. However, there are some exceptions such as old wearables. We call them OG wearables that are on the Ethereum network and in those cases you will need to pay using mana on the Ethereum network. For this video, we are going to use the app of Crypto.com. The app, not the exchange. It's not the same. Why? Because mana is available there, it allows us to use the Ethereum network and the Polygon network, it has low fees when we buy with credit cards, and it's available in the United States of America. They are not sponsoring this video, but please, I mean, come on, use the link down below in the description, and if you use it, you will get some benefits, and they will give me some crypto, I don't know, it's the same for you. The process for other exchanges, it's very similar, but remember that those exchanges need to accept the Polygon network. And something that you need to know is that in this video, we will be buying and withdrawing Matic on the Polygon network. Why am I doing this clarification? Because most exchanges allow you to buy Matic, but you can only withdraw on the Ethereum network. Yes, the Matic crypto also exists in the Ethereum network, but we don't want that version. So make sure that your exchange allows you to withdraw Matic on the Polygon network or just use crypto.com, it's more easy. Same applies to ETH, but it's less common. For this video, we're going to buy and withdraw ETH on the Ethereum network. Don't withdraw ETH on the Polygon network because it's not going to work. So the first thing we're going to do is get USDC. USDC is a cryptocurrency that is paired to the dollar. One USDC, one dollar. Let's open the crypto.com app. We first need to tap the crypto.com button. Then we should look for crypto wallet. We search USDC and we enter. As you see, I already have USDC in my account. The way I did this was by pressing transfer, deposit, external wallet, and sending USDC from another wallet. The wallet I was using was Binance, so I bought USDC at Binance and I just sent it. Another way of getting USDC is by using a debit or credit card. Just go back to USDC, press buy, add the credit card, fill in the details, and then buy. If you want, you can also do a bank transfer, but it's more complicated. Just press transfer, deposit, bank transfer, deposit now, add a bank account and follow the instructions. After you get UCC, we can continue. Now, how to buy mana on the Ethereum network and withdraw it to your MetaMask. I'm assuming you already have UCC. Press the crypto.com button, tap the crypto wallet and search for mana. Press buy and select the crypto wallet. 
Why? Because we want to use the USDC we previously bought. Choose a number, in my case 15 mana, and press the buy button. Confirm and you will have your mana. Now it's time to send this mana to our MetaMask. Press the transfer button and top withdraw. Choose an external wallet and add the wallet address. Press the QR button in order to add our MetaMask. But before continuing, let's display the MANA token by clicking Import Token and search for MANA. Then, press the three buttons and click Account Details. The QR code will be shown and the address will be filled in the application. Check that you are sending using the ERC20 network, which is basically the Ethereum network. I will put this wallet the name of MetaMask. Then press Continue and Withdraw. I bought 15 mana, so I will be withdrawing 15 mana. As you see, even if I bought 15 mana, I will be sending 8. Do you remember what I told you about the Ethereum network? You always pay gas every time you move something. Crypto.com is using some of that mana to pay those fees that you usually pay with ETH. They do it for us, basically. We press confirm and after some time, the mana will appear in our MetaMask wallet. You can check that it's also being shown at the central end as Ethereum mana. Even if we have mana right now, remember that we will need ETH to make transactions in the future. If you want land names, you will need ETH to pay the gas. Tap Ethereum. Press buy. Choose crypto wallet. Choose an amount. Make sure it's big to cover the fees of this transaction and future transactions. Press the buy button. Confirm. Press transfer. Withdraw. External wallet. Add wallet address. Tap the QR button. Scan the MetaMask code. Press continue. Press withdraw. Choose the amount you bought before. Press withdraw. Press confirm. After some time, you will get the ETH in your MetaMask wallet. Now, how to buy mana on the Polygon network and send it to your MetaMask. Again, I'm assuming you already have USDC. Instead of buying mana, we'll be buying Matic. Why Matic? Because there is no way to buy mana and send the mana through the Polygon network. The idea will be to send Matic to our MetaMask and then use an exchange to transform it into mana. First, we search for Matic on the Crypto.com app. Then we enter. Press buy and select crypto wallet. I will be using the USDC. We put the amount we want to buy and we press the buy button. We press confirm and we will have Matic. Now we're going to switch to MetaMask to display the Polygon network. We press where it says Ethereum mainnet and we click add network. I will put all the details in the description and take in mind that those could change in the future. So please check the description. You just need to fill in with the information and press save. And as you see, you will be able to see the Polygon network. If you want to check your balance on the Ethereum network, you can switch it at any time you want. We are also going to add mana. The way you do it here is a bit different. When you want to add a crypto, you need to search for the contract address of that crypto on Polygon. I will also include the contract of mana on Polygon in the description. We just paste it, press add custom token and then import tokens. Now back to the application, we are going to press transfer, withdraw external wallet and we are going to add a wallet address. Make sure you choose Polygon and tap the QR button. We scan the QR from MetaMask and we press continue. We press withdraw, choose the amount and press withdraw again. As you see, the app is going to charge us 0.08 MATIC for the transaction. As I said before, every time we transfer on Polygon, we will be paying gas on MATIC. We press confirm, and as you see, the withdrawal request has been submitted.
Now we will have magic in our MetaMask wallet. The idea is to get some of that magic and exchange it for mana on Polygon. The website I will be using is called QuickSwap. It's a very famous website, which I recommend, but take in mind that I'm not responsible if it doesn't work for you or something happens. We connect our MetaMask to QuickSwap and we choose some magic. In this case, I will be only swapping two matic. Why? Because I need to keep some for future transactions. Tap, select a token and choose mana. Press swap and confirm swap. Metamask will pop up and you need to confirm the transaction. After some time, we will have the mana in our wallet. Now, in this section you will see how to convert mana Ethereum to mana Polygon and also how to sell mana on Ethereum and get the money inside the crypto app. If you want to sell your mana on the Ethereum network to get mana on the Polygon network, the process is the same that we did before but inversely. Open MetaMask and press send. It's going to ask you for a wallet address. Open the crypto.com app, search for mana, press transfer and then deposit. Copy the wallet address and go back to MetaMask to paste it. Select mana and the amount you want to transfer. Press next and confirm the transaction. After some time, it will appear on the app of Crypto.com. You can sell that mana for USDC so you have a stable coin or get some magic and follow the process I showed you before where you swap to mana Polygon. Now how to convert mana Polygon to mana Ethereum and at the same time you will learn how to sell the mana that you have on Polygon and get the money inside the app of Crypto.com. Jump into QuickSwap and choose mana as the first token and Matic as the second one. Press swap and confirm swap. Confirm the transaction on MetaMask. Go to MetaMask and click send. Open the Crypto.com app and search for the Cryptomatic. Press transfer, deposit and choose the Polygon network. Copy the address and paste it on MetaMask. Select the amount and press next. I recommend you to not press max so you keep a few dollars to be able to make transactions in the future. Press confirm and the transaction will be sent. After some time, you will receive the MATIC on your crypto.com app. You can sell that MATIC for USDC so you have a stable coin or get mana and withdraw to your MetaMask wallet as I showed you before. Do I need to buy USDC every time I want to get mana or matic? No. In this video, I just bought USDC because it was easier for you to understand. You can directly go to mana on the crypto.com app and buy with a credit card there, for example. I have not seen fees when converting from one crypto to another one inside the app. So that's why getting USDC and then buying another crypto was not a problem for me. But if one day you start seeing fees every time you convert one crypto to another one inside the app, you should buy directly the coins without going to the USDC thing. Number two, I want to invest Polygon network or Ethereum network. If you want to hold mana in the long term, the best network will be always Ethereum, at least in terms of security. This doesn't mean that Polygon isn't secure, but it's a layer 2 which is less secure. How do I get money in my bank? The crypto.com app comes with an option called withdraw to bank, but if it doesn't work to you, you can always send the crypto to another exchange. What's the price of the gas? I will send you a website where you can see the price of the gas on Ethereum, because on Polygon it's not necessary, like most of the time it's very cheap. But on Ethereum, I will send you a website where you can see it, and it's super simple. That's all for now. This video took me a lot of time. Remember to use the link in the description, register at crypto.com app, where you will get some benefits. Remember, as I told you before, check the description if there is any update to this. That's all, and thanks for watching.